With Zygarde finally getting a game, let's talk about what we do know. Besides the trailer, Nintendo of America says that this is a game that will take place entirely within Lumio City. I actually welcome this change from Legends Arceus. If you remember Legends Arceus, you'll note that we spent a lot of our time in the wilderness, be it the forest or the mountains. We really only had one settlement, Jubilife Village. Having only one settlement allowed us to give it a lot of personality. This was an era where people feared going out and seeing a Pokemon. However, you as the player character added Pokemon to their lives. As you give people specific Pokemon that they request, you unlock more features, and their dialogue, which was once full of fear, now becomes more open towards Pokemon. And that's probably what they're trying to go for with Lumio City. Obviously in the X and Y games, the city had to be scaled down because the 3DS hardware couldn't exactly render entire massive cities like this. But we don't have that limitation anymore. If we take inspiration from real life Paris, there is a lot to explore. The Paris Catacombs, for example, would be an interesting level. It would certainly be a nice place to find a bunch of ghost types. Maybe we can explore areas based off of places like the Louvre. Or perhaps we're exploring historic areas, and then we had to tear them down, either because they burned down because of the plot, or they had to be renovated because they were basically occupational hazards. Perhaps the woods outside of Lumio City is just that, the woods that were once there, and we just expanded and urbanized them. There's also a lot of parks within Paris that we can take advantage of. I think having a game solely centered on one city can work. Sony did a pretty good job crafting a single city for their Spider-Man games. But those are just my thoughts on the matter. Please let me know what you guys think. Please consider liking, subscribing, tipping the channel on Kofi. This is Cyril signing off.